So earlier today, I uploaded a crazy glitch on Moles, which allowed you to basically use the flacker and have it be like, well, better than what it was before Gearbox nerfed it. This glitch revolved around stacking reload and fire rate and allowed the flacker to perform like you can see on screen now. Now after a little testing, I figured this is beyond getting breaking. And guys, you don't want to miss this. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, every week I give away copies of Borderlands. To win one for yourself or a friend, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so a glitch which allows you to use the flacker basically in full auto with a fire rate like never seen before. The same glitch can be used to literally speed up the fire rate and reload speed. Now I've tested it of any weapon in the game literally giving them an unlimited fire rate and reload so they can reload in the blink of an eye empty clips in the blink of an eye and it's just utterly bonkers people now before we go any further and check out how this glitch is done and what it's capable of a big shout out to jake for bringing this glitch to my attention and allowing me to use his build to bring you guys this video if you guys would like to go show him some love his twitter and instagram can be found linked within the video description so this glitch allows any weapon in the game to fire literally like the fastest SMG you've ever seen ever. This glitch allows the Lyuda to shoot like this. This glitch allows the Infinity Pistol to shoot like this. This glitch allows the Cutsman to shoot like this. This glitch allows the Sploder to shoot like this. This glitch allows any weapon in the game, even uncommon greens, blue rares and purple epics, to shoot like this. So yeah, I'm sure you would agree this is utterly broken and I believe it won't be long before this is nerfed for sure. Now we will see what these weapons with this fire rate do to Grave Ward in a few seconds after I've explained exactly how this is done and what you need for this to be done. So at the moment I believe this is only possible to achieve on moles. But listen to how it's done guys and you might be able to achieve another Vault Hunters. So for this to work you need a few items which I'll explain exactly how each works and affects this build. So firstly you need any weapon which damages you. These are real easy to find and most weapons offering elemental effects with splash damage will damage the user. Within this guide I will use the Hornet. You will need to have a shield with the added benefits of Adrenaline, Trigger Happy and Fleet. If you get one with more than one of these benefits on, even better. Now these are quite common on moles, so moles is out there, you may already have one. The class mod here though is super important, the Blood Letter. This is needed for this to truly work. This as you can see, if Moles would be healed, she gains shields instead. If she would regenerate health, she also gains shield regeneration. This is one of the major points of how this will work and I'll explain in a second. The artifact isn't a must but the mod it offers with that health regeneration is really helpful. You can get health regen on the class mod if you are lucky, but health regen is definitely needed. So how this works is as follows. If we look at the shield, plus 10% fire rate where all shield is depleted and plus 23% reload speed when shield is depleted. So what we are doing here is taking those shields off ourselves. That's where the Hornet for this instance is needed. Shooting the floor right next to you damages you. Again, you can use any weapon to do this. So if we start shooting the floor and we eventually take off our shield, you will notice the corrosive damage effects you have done to yourself once your shield is depleted will continue to take your health down. Now because the Blood Letter class mod grants health and shields back at a crazy rate, you get a constant loop of losing your shield then regening it. And what this is indeed doing is stacking the benefits of the shield we are using here with its increased reload and fire rate. Because every time you lose and regen your shield, these benefits keep stacking. And you can repeat this, I believe, for as long as you like, which only makes said weapons shoot even quicker. Now the footage of the weapons you saw me shooting earlier was from me stacking this for a little over 10 seconds. Imagine what would happen if you did this for a minute, two minutes, five minutes. The results would be utterly scary, people. So I went to Grave Ward, 
Mayhem mod didn't really matter as I didn't in reality stack as much as I could. You can do 10 times what I did here. But I just wanted to see if I could kill Grave Ward with the Infinity Pistol using this glitch. How quick I could kill him with the Lyuda using this glitch, the Cutsman, and even a crappy purple epic sniper, which actually ran out of uh, bullets before I could kill him as the recoil was utterly bonkers people and I could not control it. But you guys will understand exactly how this works and just how game breaking this is people. It's utterly nuts. So yeah guys, this glitch allows you to shoot at an infinite fire rate allowing every weapon in the game to become super OP. Now like I said this, as I know, is only at the moment possible on moles. I haven't tried it on other Vault Hunters, but I do believe there may be a way around, especially with Zane. But if I do find anything on it people, I'll bring it to you guys on my channel later. Now I will leave you to witness what this does to Grave Ward with the weapons I tested, so I hope you enjoy it guys. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and this is what you want to see more of, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.